Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny Jalilo and we're here at the South Park Center. I'm here with Aaron Fisher and Ellen Toland with their movie Inside the Rain. Let's take a look at the clip. Mm. Let me tell you something. I know many of the best writer directors on this planet. Spike Lee, P.T. Anderson, Paul Thomas to me. Martin Scorsese, Marty to me. Bob Fosse, and I'll tell you something. You are as good as the best of them, yeah. Even though you're only 25 years old. So, got any plans? Well, I need to make this movie to prove my innocence. You wanna make a film? I just happen to be a film producer. Great, let's do it. Got any money? Not yet, but I want it to look really cinematic because that's the only way to convince the J board that my version of the events is the truth and nothing but. Cinematic. Cinematic. You want that cinematic look. Absolutely. You know that's gonna cost you no less than $5,500. $5,500 is nothing. So, uh, you're on board to produce? Sir, yes, sir. And we can stage some scenes right here in the garage. It'll be perfect. <laughs> I can't wait to make this movie! Sometimes you gotta kick us to make it open. Hold on. There we go. Perfect. So, can you get the money? I'm so happy to have you here, Aaron and, and Ellen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, for those that haven't seen your film, tell us a brief synopsis. Uh, well, I play this character, Ben, uh, who's expelled from college, and he falls in love uh, with a sex worker who is trying to help him get back into college, and he's uh, bipolar. Honestly, I, I, I can't tell you, I've seen so many films come through new filmmakers and I just fell in love with your characters and this story, like I was so in it. And I just couldn't believe, firstly, Aaron, this was your first feature film, which you wrote, you directed, you were the star, and you even edited as well. Like, how did this all begin? I kind of felt like Benjamin Braddock in, in The Graduate. Mm -hmm. I literally did just, you know, gra graduate uh, from film school. Yeah. I knew I had a story to tell, but I didn't know what the story was. I just knew I, I had to tell it. Um, mm -hmm. It was very important to me. Um, so I started writing, and I knew it was going to be a love story, mm -hmm. a romantic comedy. And after the first three or four months of writing, I, I felt so terrible about the writing. I thought it was so bad and so awful. I thought everything was cliched, and, and it wasn't going anywhere. Um, and it wasn't loosely autobiographical at all. Um, I th got so depressed that I voluntarily checked myself in to a psych ward for a couple of months where I did uh, ECT three times a week, which is uh, electroconvulsive therapy. Um, after I got out of the psych ward, which is not fun, um, <laughs> it's not. The basic premise, vague premise of the movies came to me about this like school hearing. Mm -hmm. And it started, started from there, and it was like a four-year writing process. You ask this question, you don't always expect an answer like that, and I think that just goes to show a testament of your you know, perfection as a filmmaker and your talent, because I can't imagine this film not being made. Um, your relationship, both of your characters, was just, was just wonderful, because you just humanize these two people that are going through certain things in their life, experiencing certain things, living certain lifestyles, and I just, it just was so nice because you don't see an insight that's that real. They always kind of give you a stereotype or a perception of it all. Was that something in the writing you wanted to sort of showcase, um, particularly with, you know, with Ellen's character as well? Yeah, with Ellen's character as a sex worker, I just, I didn't want the film to be about sex work. I just wanted to show a sex worker as just a normal human being. Yeah. Because people, I feel like, don't see that. Yeah, they don't. They don't see that. Um, and Ellen, you portrayed this character wonderfully well. I feel like it was a match made in heaven watching you both on camera together and seeing your relationship develop. How did, the how did you get involved in the project? 
Well, just had a couple callbacks, and we just realized when we were reading together that we had a pretty natural chemistry, and that doesn't always happen. Right. Um, and then we grew to be really good friends throughout the process, and I think you can see that on screen. It's it's so palpable. So yeah, I, we got super lucky. I think you also had a, a great, uh, you know, extended cast of people. And I was just com couldn't believe how many you know seasoned people in the industry that you had. You're great up and coming rising stars like Ellen, and you've got these Academy Award nominees and all these incredible comedic actors. How did how did you get all these amazing people? Christine Vachon of Killer Films came on board like maybe two or three years mm -hmm. in, in writing into writing the script. I think that helped make the film look much more legitimate. Yeah. To going to stars, Rosie Perez really loved the script. Yeah. She's felt it was very authentic. Mm -hmm. uh, when I first spoke to her on the phone, she was like, is this a comedy? Because <laughs> like, my manager said it wasn't. And I was like, oh shit, she doesn't know that it's <laughs> a comedy. Um, and she was, I was like, yeah, it's a romantic comedy. She's like, good, because I was, I was laughing the whole time I was reading it. Um, we went to Eric Roberts. He's so funny as uh, <laughs> so Mo funny. Montgomery Pennington. <laughs> The, uh, the producer who's been kicked out of his wife's ho house in LA mm -hmm. and he's back in New York living in his mother's garage. Yeah. Um, Eric was just really great for that. Yeah. Uh, during like takes, with, I had many takes I couldn't use in the scenes with him talking about how great the, the directors were that he had oh. worked with. Yeah. Every time I just started cracking up, like, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't keep a straight face. Oh, I love it. Aaron kept thinking, cinematography is so good, cinematography is so good, cinematography is And I'm like, oh, it's in the family. So you're, you're this amazing, beautiful, because it really was, you know, I mean, you don't often get a, a style of film. This is so beautifully just lit and just, it was just like, I don't know, it was like I was in kind of a dream world. So, you know, it was really surreal. And then, of course, you keep that in the family because it's your... It's, it's your brother. Yeah, my older brother, Josh Fisher, uh, is the cinematographer. Yeah. I've been making short films with him for like kind of years now. Wow. This is the first time I got to do something professional. Yeah. Uh, well, period, but also with my brother. Yeah. Um, but it was, it was the first time I was doing anything professional as a writer, as a director, as an actor, or as an editor. Uh-huh. Um, I couldn't have done it without uh, my brother. He's... Uh, yeah. And, and the rest of my team uh, mm -hmm. is really helpful. And uh, you've got trust there as well, obviously. You work with together and, and, and a lot of irritability, too. Cause yeah. <laughs> my, brother, my brother rented an office in Brooklyn for us to work on mm -hmm. the like, shot list and mm -hmm. different things like that. And we would just start arguing. Like, we'd just get annoyed with each other just over just stupid <laughs> things. And, uh, and with Alan, meeting Ellen Tolan, I'm so I feel so lucky that I got to work with Ellen. Yeah. She's so great. She's so nice. I don't see how I could have done the movie without her. It was really cool. We had time to rehearse, which is rare. And also, oh, like, good. when we first met, we just met up for coffee yeah. in the East Village, and we just talked and stuff. And, you know, after we got coffee, she's like, hey, Aaron, get some drinks at this place. And I'm like, all right, yeah. Did you beat somebody up? No. I just walked out on my psychiatrist. She thinks I'm manic because I said I have special abilities, which I do. What are your special abilities? Uh, I don't need sleep. I can run faster than a car, and I control the weather. Really? Yeah, and I'm going to make you a star in my short film. Tell me about it. Well, OK. Uh, I was wrongfully kicked out of school, and I'm making a movie to prove my innocence. Interesting. Yeah, and I'm doing dramatic reenactments of all the shit that led up to my suspension, and I've got a very important role for you. Is there a script? Yeah, it's all in my head. I, uh, I just have to finish typing it up. Well, I'll have to read it first. Ugh, it's my parents. They won't stop freaking out because I said I'm going off my stupid meds. Well, why do you take them? I'm the man, that's why. Well, why are you the man? I'm bipolar, ADHD, OCD, borderline personality disorder, what else? You name it, I've got it. Maybe you should take your meds. 
Well, well your performance was, 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 so, was so great and it looked like you had a ball and I can just tell from just, you know, yeah. how, how you feel about each other. It's, it's so nice to work in that environment where it feels. Yeah. What, was, what, was some of your, what was some of your kind of, was there any, any challenges that you had? Because you, obviously your character did go through quite a lot. Yeah, um, challenge wise, I mean, but to what he was speaking about, it was interesting watching him and Josh work together because mm. I think when you've worked uh, especially with your brother, you yeah. have a little language with each other, and of so they course. were able to do stuff yeah. really quick, I felt like. Um, and then challenge-wise, I mean, it was not, I, it was a great experience. So, I mean, but I think when you have a really strong script, it makes an actor's life pretty easy, because yeah. um, you can just focus on your work and I think what jumped out about the script is the fact that it didn't fall into a bunch of cliches and tropes, mm -hmm. with, especially with sex work. And yeah. Emma was just a regular girl looking for acceptance and friendship and somebody else so that she can move on with her life. And Ben mm -hmm. was the same. So mm -hmm. I think that's why we make film because we want to see how people get through adversity and turn yeah. it into a positive. And with Aaron, that's, that's his life and that's also what he put into his work. Yeah, having been on this insane journey to create this film, what was that experience like for you that has gone from writing this script, going for all of that, and then having an audience appreciate it? Um, I love it. I, I don't think there's a better feeling than showing my story on the big screen with, with everyone. It's, it's, it was, it's been my dream my whole life. Mm -hmm. What was great about from our audience last night, who all appreciate it in different ways. I think maybe as we kind of figured out last night from some of the audience questions that a lot of people got a lot of different things from your film, you know? And it was powerful when someone who said, hey, my brother is bipolar and got up and spoke about that. Did you kind of know going into it that there was gonna be so many wide ranges of people experiencing and taking great things from your film? Uh, yes, we've been at, maybe nine or 10 festivals so far. Uh -huh. And we have many more coming up, but um, every festival, someone, people are crying and like telling me how important the story is. And yeah. people will say, I'm bipolar and I really appreciate you telling this story. And, um, but you know, honestly, I, when I was setting out to make this movie, I wasn't trying to um, get rid of stigma uh, for people with bipolar or, or other mental illnesses. Mm -hmm. I was not thinking about that at all. I was just, tr I was just writing a loosely autobiographical yeah. story and I happened to be those things. Like I, I did not realize when the film came out that it would, it would turn into this like issue film where everyone's like, does he, like does the film like, show accurately portray yeah. someone with bipolar? And these kinds of things. It's funny because we have like uh, over a million uh, trailer views. It's just like the uh, of, of the uh, two-minute trailer, and then there's like thousands of people arguing about like this film is bad for us, and other people like this film is so good. You're always gonna the, get yeah, yeah. They, 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 off a of, off a two-minute trailer. It's all, insane. Well, yeah. you know, one thing I recognized from last night is that actually even though you may not have gone into it that way, I realize you're actually a champion for people that have gone through that or know someone going through that. And, and both, both you know, bipolarism, both being a sex worker, all those things. And I think if you're uncovering those stigmas or those stereotypes that people don't know about, I think you're only doing it. It's a positive thing. Yeah, uh, but uh, also just to piggyback on that, I think people get really, people are attracted to things that are genuine. Yeah. And because Aaron wasn't coming at it at like that, it yeah. makes people attracted to 100%. it. And, and it's been really interesting for me just to see what reactions he's had um, yeah. and people coming up to him. And also just seeing that people are given their permission to laugh yeah. at something that's usually not laughed at. And it's, 
I think this movie is really special and feel so lucky that I got to be a part it of it. It is special. It is it is very 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 special. I adore you both. I really I'm so thankful for your <laughs> gifts and your talents and please keep making more movies. Like we need your movies, okay? I'm just putting that out there to the universe, okay? Um, um, but listen, thank you both for, for being part. Thank you for bringing Inside the Rain. It's a very special film and I can't wait to the worldwide audience get to experience it. So thank you very much. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you.